uh, maybe in upcoming lecture right so in this chapter we'll try to cover microeconomics issues so as i said earlier it deals with the how individual or the part of the economy make the decision about the allocation of resources which are scarce and the resources are always scarce right because if you come if you think about yourself so how much resources do you have in terms of money land capital or anything right so and what are your wants against it so the want size uh, like resources size will be this much and the want size might be sorry the want size might be the bigger one right so uh, it's something happened right anyway so uh, means in in short uh, you have lot of wants and very less number of uh, resources so that's why we say it's scarce resources so microeconomics attempt to examine how supply and demand decision made by these individuals affect the selling price of the goods and services within an industry so obviously microeconomics will be affecting our industry as a like you see how people's demand and supply uh, like how demand and supply made by the individuals affect the selling price of the industry when demand increases what happen when supply increases then what happens and how it is going to affect the prices so in first we'll discuss demand what is demand demand means that the willingness and ability to buy of a person right simply this is the simple definition the willingness to buy something and ability to buy something like i am willing to buy a ball point and i have the money to pay for the ball point let's suppose that is 2 dollar or 2 pound so that is called as demand right so we'll say i uh, we can say that one ball point is my demand so we see individual show in the individual demand shows how much a good or a service is someone intends to buy at a different prices so what you want to buy at a different prices right okay so what do you say when uh, so uh, we will not only talk about the desires but we want to say that whether he or a person has the money to buy that so if you only want to buy something but you don't have the money so that is not taken under the demand like for example i want to buy a mercedes or a bmw or any other car but i don't have the money so that is just a desire not the demand right so at a different prices what you basically buy so demand so what happens when demand tends to be higher at a lower price and lower at a higher price he means when the price is low when the price decreases what happens the demand increases means now you can uh, when you see when the things are available at cheaper rate so then you may buy more and vice versa when the price goes up so now it may be difficult to buy for us uh, so we may reduce the demand so you see there is a inverse relationship between price and demand so demand tends to be higher at a low price you see at when the price is low so demand is high and when the price is high demand is low right so it it's usually it happen this is called as law of demand you, you know it's very common practice that whenever you are buying something and when the price goes up so you may reduce the demand like you see if we take the example of the uh, laptops right so a few years back the prices of the laptops were very high or the computers were very high only few people could afford it but now as the prices have been decreased over the year number of years so you see how much it had created the demand so it had in multiplied number of times right so previously few people could buy it at a higher price now the price is reduced Uh, and so millions of people have purchased the laptops and computers right same is the case with the mobile similarly there is the expansion and contraction of demand as the name clarify expansion means increase expanding something keep on increasing so an expansion of demand as the demand rises mean it increases when the price falls you know when price comes down demand expands so that is called as expansion in demand and vice versa when it's a contraction contraction mean reduction when you something shrinks down so in the contraction in demand means when demand falls as the price rises so here you can see in the graph 
when the price was P1, let's suppose it was 10, right? So what was the quantity? Quantity at Q1 was, let's suppose 50 units, right? Right. Now, if the price, when the price reduced, what happens to, let's suppose 8? So the demand is increased to, let's suppose 60 units, right? Now, this increase in the demand means this rise in the demand due to the reduction in the price is called as expansion. So, and vice versa if we take when the price was 8 and it increases to 10, so what happens at 8 it was 60 and 10 it was, it became 50. So, this is called contraction. So, what we say movement along the curve as the price changes would be extension or contraction. When we move from this point, let us suppose from point A, A to B. So, this is called expansion, right? Expansion. So, you see from A means from 50 to 60. And similarly, if we move backward from B to A, then it will be contraction. So, concept is clear. When the any change in the price, any change in the demand because of the price will be either expansion or contraction. So, when demand expands, that is called expansion from 50 to 60, it is expansion. And when the price goes up, so it will be what 60 to 50 contracted. So, that is called as contraction in demand. Clear? Okay, now what is substitution effect? For most goods, the lower the price, the higher will be the demand. As we said earlier that when the price reduces, the demand goes up usually, right? usually it happens. So, what happens? This is a, the, Then there occurs two things, right? One might be the substitution effect and other is the income effect. Let's, let's explain what is substitution effect. As the name clarifies, substitution means when you replace one good for another. Substitute. Hmm? What is substitute? Replacement. So, when a consumer buy more of one good and less of another good because of the price change, so what happens? This the two goods are substituted. Like for example, if the price of for example, just just an example, if the price of a Pepsi increases, so if a people may tend to buy Coke, now the Coke price remains the same, but the price of Pepsi increases, so people find Coke as a little cheaper product, right? In comparison of the Pepsi. So, this increase in the demand of Coke is because of decrease in the price of Pepsi. So, this is called substitution. Some of the people substituted their demand from Pepsi, uh, for Pepsi to Coke. So, a fall in the price of the first mean any price will lead to the consumer to switch the demand to the lower price goods. This is called as substitution effect. Understand? You know, you know, you know when, when the price of one good changes like um, price of one good reduces and or in increases so people change their behavior towards the other good right so that is called as substitution effect as i explained if the price of pepsi let's suppose increases so the pepsi consumer may switch toward coke or vice versa right so such change from pepsi to coke is called as substitution effect Similarly, the second is income effect. When there is a change in the price of good, affect the purchasing power of the consumer of the income. If the price of the good falls, the consumer exp experiences a rise in their real income and hence tend to buy, buy more of all the normal goods. What does it mean? It means that when the price decreases, the price of any good decreases, so now what it it, in other words, your real income has been increased. Real income means your purchasing power has been increased. Like previously, you could buy uh, with uh, hundred dollar. Let's suppose you could buy uh, five units of something, but now you can buy six unit of something. So means, so if you buy five units of the same product, so still you will have some money left with your hand. So means, in fact, your real income is increased. This is called as purchasing power of the that money has been increased right so when the person find the uh, feel that his income is increased because of the decrease in the price so he or she may 
by more of any good that is called as income effect now this increase in the uh, uh, of increase this increase in the demand is because of income 